Hi, and welcome to episode seven of Gold Medal Coaching TV. Welcome, if you're brand new to our community, what does Gold Medal Coaching do and how it can benefit you? We help people develop, start, and really build their dream business in the fitness arena. So what is this episode all about and how can it benefit you? We're talking about how to grow your referrals and how to really grow that with your business. So as always, guys, if you love this channel each week, every Monday we deliver some awesome content to you. Please subscribe in the button below this and share it with your friends and family that will love it too. So let's get cracking. So what is growing referrals going to do for your business? Um, basically, growing referrals is just an easy way to get more people through the door and to market your business without having to spend the money. So basically, utilizing your current fans in your business to help you move forward and to get more people through the door. So I wanted to share with you a few great ideas to get more people as referrals into your business. So pens and paper at the ready, guys. Number one, make sure you put your referrals on your marketing. So you could put on your marketing, such as your Facebook ads or your landing pages or your local marketing, your leaflets, etc., on and your website, you could put a referral discount. So refer a friend, get 10%, get a free, um, get a free class the next time you come, get 20% off a birthday party that you might offer, get a certain discount of one of the products in your gym, depending what service you offer within your fitness business. It can also relate to whether, you know, it can be different whether you're teaching children or you're teaching adults or depending on the service that you offer. You might be a massage therapist or a chiropractor, for example, where you might say offer, you know, 30% off your next treatment or a consultation if you're a nutritionist. So there's a few good ideas for you there. Um, make sure, as I said, on all your marketing. Number two, you want to kind of have bring a friend days. Now this does work very well for children-based businesses, children-based fitness businesses. But it also can work if you're running a gym or fitness classes as well. Have a specific day of the month or the term that they can bring someone along to your class. Because that does work very well to just have that one day. And the reason for the one day, from experience, we found that if you have friends being brought every single day and you can't cope with the demand, you have too many people coming to your classes, that's a great thing to have, isn't it? But not if you're oversubscribed, and especially if you work on a ratio of adult to child, I said if it's a children's business, and if you in your fitness classes or your gym, you might not have space. So just prepare for that and have one bring a friend day. You can then big it up on your marketing as well. Um, relating to bring a friend days, you could also have open days, which are kind of similar to bring a friend days. It's how you like to word it. And, you know, open days work very well for gyms. Um, where you have a lot of space and people can just try it out. Whereas I'd say bring a friend days work very well if you're running a class-based or a consultation-based business. Um, one of the fourth, fourth idea for you is using, an, you know, when you're doing your referral, don't just say, bring a friend. Woohoo. We'd love you to bring a friend. You want to incentivize. Why should they bring a friend? So use what we just talked about. Think, of different offers, free consultation, as I mentioned, offer a discount, offer another free class, offer a party discount. Um, it's always good to relate it. We don't, I would advise, you don't wanna go down the line of I'll give you 10 pounds um, cash in hand or 10 pounds as a check or something like that. You wanna relate it to a service that's not gonna really put you out of pocket. So offering them another free class isn't gonna put you out of pocket. Offering them, 10% discount on an extra booking that they might do isn't going to get you out of pocket. It's actually going to put more people into your business and more revenue into your business. So just be careful of that. And then my last one is word of mouth through using local companies. So use local companies. I always like to say, um, obviously this is specific to the UK. I don't know if they do it elsewhere, but think of school fates. And whenever schools have school fates, they always have an estate agent that sponsor the school fate. 
And it was an idea that sprung to me the other day. And I thought, oh God, I must share that with you because we can really take inspiration from that. So local companies, local schools, local other um, companies, you know, if you're working, if you've got children's classes, children's fitness classes, and you have gyms around the corner, that's a great place where adults are going that also have children that might like your service. For, you know, look, advertising in local schools, that's a good referral. The schools can refer people to your classes, um, putting your services in, in health places or health food shops and just getting that rapport with them. Um, that can also help very well. So there's a few basic tips, guys, just to refer on that is pop it on your marketing, bring a friend days, open days, incentivize people and relate and build great, strong relationships with companies. So I hope you found that super useful. As always, I try to make my trainings as actionable and um, great tips for you as possible so you can literally implement and go with it straight away. Um, as always, please pop in the comments below what you found super useful. I'd love to know about this episode and make sure you get your hands on my great download for you on my great masterclass of how to help you start, build and develop your amazing business in the fitness industry, which is below this video. So have an amazing week, guys. Any questions, please whiz them over to us and we'll be delighted to hear from you and we'll see you next Monday, same time, same place. See ya.